Hey, so uh, I have quite quite the day today. Um, there's a, a big tree that leans quite too much. It's not good. It's gonna fall eventually and that's not very good. So <gasps> this is it. It's uh, as you can see, it's not very small, <laughs> but we have to cut it because it's leaning quite a bit. And uh, that is not good. So we must cut it down. I know it's alive, but it's going to hurt somebody and uh, it, it's not going to be good. So we will use the wood, of course. We will chop it up, heat our homes and uh, yes, maybe I'll make a stool or something. <gasps> okay, so I will uh, get to it. Okay, so this is uh, about 20 minutes of me doing it and uh, yes, 20 minutes of chopping is, oh, it's good, but it does take quite a bit of energy, but we will continue. As you can see, that is quite, quite a lean to it, so that will eventually fall and if anyone was underneath, they'd be dead and that's not good. So that's why we have to uh, cut it, but look at this one. That's perfect, that's good. Keep that, that's straight. This, not so much. So we have to uh, cut it down and we will use the wood. So it's okay, it's not uh, hurting anything. It's preventing someone from getting hurt, possibly. So that is just an update for you and uh, I will get back to it, okay. It's going. So, uh, I heard it start to crack. Oh yes, it's cracking. Here it goes. It's going. Whoopee. <laughs> So what I think we will have to do is uh, maybe push it over with the tractor. I think that will work. But for right now, I can uh, start limbing the tree. So uh, we will do a nice little time lapse. And uh, yes, it should be good. So here comes uh, Big Henry with the tractor and uh, it's going to be good. I'm back again to uh, do this tree and it's it's quite windy out so I don't know if you can hear me but I want to show you a little bit how to limb so once you cut a tree you have to take up the branches and this is how you do it it's good and you take it by the limb and you just place and it's good you can take the little 
Then we will uh, start to uh, chop it up with the chainsaw and then we will split and uh, it's good. Oof. Okay, so I have uh, most of it cleared out. As you can see, I have my, uh, my pile of brush right there and I have kind of the big, big stick pieces right here. Yes, so now what I've started to do is chop up little bits that I can start to split and that is uh, what I'll do. So I will use uh, the chainsaw for this. So my uh, logs are more in uh, a straight, straight cuts so I can split them quite easily. And uh, yes, it's good. Now I really want to get to the splitting part because that is my favorite. And hopefully we will be able to do that today. So I will get to it. Okay, so now it's starting to get a little hard. I have uh, quite a bit of wood locked up to uh, start to split. I used my uh, puppy. I used my Husqvarna. I love it. Of course, it's uh, Swedish. Hmm. What you have to do is you have to put blocks underneath. So once I cut here, that will fall. But if I cut here, it falls in. And what it does is it, it pinches the, uh, the chainsaw bar and it doesn't, it's not good. It doesn't work. So what I have been doing is I take a little bit of a fulcrum and I put it under here like this. And I use that to raise it up. And then I put a block underneath. So let's see if I can do it. Okay, that's good. But now I can chop here and it will fall and I will show you. So this is uh, what I mean. this and it pulled my blade so it shoot, shoot it right out and that is a little dangerous but it's okay that happens just be careful and that's what I have my chaps on and my safety goggles so I will uh, finish blocking this up and then we will uh, split just a little bit because I have to uh, go home and say hi to my grandpapa okay so today I'm going to use my uh, my big boy Oof, that is good. It's my big boy, Helco Works. So we will see how she goes. Oh, that is quite easy. I did not, <laughs> I, uh, did not expect it to be that easy, but look at that. Woohoo, that's nice. One more. Okay. Look at it. It's easy. One chop. Quite good. Quite good. Perfect. Okay. Let's try my Scandinavian four steps. We'll do uh, this one and see how it works. Oh, that was quite good too. Oh, my loopy doopy. Okay. Okay, I am uh, very, very satisfied. That is good. That pretty much split like it was butter. <laughs> Let's try a big one. Hello. Oh. Uh, yeah. We make a square now. Look at you. <laughs> I just make a square pig. Look at that. Aha, that's good. Let's try this big boy. I think we can do it.
this is uh, quite big. Let's see if I can do it. Oh, <laughs> that was uh, quite easy. Aha, let's do this. It has quite a big knot in it. So I think we can make short work. Ah, that is giving us a challenge. I like it. Ah, uh, one more. Aha, look at that. This should go. Woohoo! One handed. Easy. Two handed. Whoopee. I meant one handed. <laughs> oh, see? So that's going right here through that nut. And that's why it's not splitting. But you do this. And it should go. And look at that. See if I can pull it apart. Hoo hoo. Hoo hoo. That was quite hard. But we did it. Look it. Aha. That's good. Hoo hoo hoo. Okay, so I will uh, come back tomorrow and we will finish chopping up the tree. All we have left is uh, we just need to block this up a little. We're going to push the brush into the brush pile and I just uh, have to split. So that was uh, me uh, cutting down a big tree and uh, I just need to finish, cut that off with the chainsaw and finish splitting here and then push that into the scrap pile but that's pretty much what it takes to uh, cut down the tree and process it and uh, yes of course it will go a lot faster if you use chainsaws and wood splitters and whatever but i do it for fun i do it for uh, workouts and uh, yeah it's a hobby of mine and that's why i use axes okay so thank you uh, for coming along and uh, yes i will see you soon bye family